everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique and I make videos all about food and drink and I review them and I give you my opinion and that's all I do every Sunday. So if you're interested in that then be sure to subscribe below. Today I am going to be talking about a company called Bol. B-O-L. Bol is a plant-based company and their products range from salads to soups. I haven't tried them before, so it's all very new to me. So they currently have four different ranges. They have the super soups, they have salad jars, they have veg pots, and they have their newly released dinner boxes. So the range that I'm going to be focusing on today is their dinner boxes. Now the dinner boxes are made up of four different flavours. Now I have two of their flavours. I bought mine from Sainsbury's and they were £4 each. There wasn't any offers on. They were the only two that were there. Pretty much most of their products weren't on the shelves. It was either one or two pots that looked a bit ugly and mashed. Um, that I guess people weren't buying. And some others were just completely out of stock. So I was lucky that I found two of them. The two that I got was sweet potato katsu curry which is the one that I really wanted to try because I love katsu curry and I love sweet potato. And the second one that I got was a cauliflower tikka masala. So the two that I don't have with me are the shepherdless lentil pie and the tomato lentil ragu linguine. So if you guys have tried them please let me know what you think below. So I'll give you guys a close-up of what they look like from the top. I love how colourful and bright and vibrant they look. They really did stand out on the shelf, which is great, and it caught my eye straight away. One thing about the packaging, they do state here that they're 95% plastic free. And if you see, this is not a plastic tray. The only plastic they've got, from what I can see, is a film. I don't know if this feels like it's got plastic coating on it. So I'm going to start off just talking about what they look like. I've got the Bang Bang Sweet Potato Katsu Curry here. This is what it looks like. I can't tilt it up that much, but... I'll give you guys a bird's eye view of what it looks like. First thing you can see is the smearing on the film. I did try to find some packs that weren't smeared, but all the ones there did have smearing, and that's just where some of the sauce is caught on the film. It's not an issue, it just makes the product look messy. Another thing I noticed was when I tilted it to have a look at the product, there is a lot of free water. I would say maybe a teaspoon of free water in there. Now, I'm not mad. Um, this is just my technologist brain coming through. It will soak up once it's been reheated, but as a consumer, when I tilted it to have a look at it, it does. it's not very appetising to see free water there at the bottom of the corner. First impressions of the way it looks, I think the rice, the way they've shaped it, is really, really cool. I don't know how they've done that. I love that it's very vibrant in colour, and that theme not only matches their packaging, but it's matching in their food. You know, you've got the orange from the sweet potato, you've got bright green beans in there. So it looks beautiful. Another thing I noticed was the nutritional guides. Fat and saturates are both in green which is great, and then the sugars and the salt are in amber, but again, to have green and amber on a meal like this, I think it's great. It's really good. So, it's saying here that it's a sweet potato katsu curry with sticky rice, roasted harissa, and miso sweet potato, mushrooms. I didn't know it had mushrooms in it until they just said, but I couldn't really see it. Idiyami and rainbow pickled veg in a creamy katsu sauce. It's 10 grams of protein. So the really good thing about packaging is you can put it in the microwave and you can put it in the oven. But uh, I think it says for only up to 200 degrees. It's two of your five a day. They've got a chili rating on here as mild. 410 gram pack. The box was made using plants. The sleeve is from Sustainable Forests. You can recycle the pot. It just says rinse before recycling. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, this makes me happy. It says they're proud to use wonky veg. Yeah. Uh, ITV have got a big campaign on about eating more vegetables for kids and adults. It's called Eat Them to Defeat Them. I think it's good that they use wonky veg. It's approved by the Vegetarian Society and the Vegan Society. Now, I think what is really cool, I'm going to have to open this up for you. This is what the packaging looks like on the outside. 
okay, very slick, but in the it's got writing on the inside and I know it's a lot more money and printing to, to print on the inside. I've seen greys do this, but I think it's really, really interesting. Oh, one pound off. Is it Bowl Foods? Oh, I get a pound off. Okay. They look really crisp and clean. I love the packaging. It's good. The next one I'm going to show you is the five roasted cauliflower tikka masala. I'll give you guys a close up. I was impressed with how this looked in pack. It looks so tidy. So the saying here is a turmeric infused rice, creamy coconut dal, green beans and sweet pickled onions with a tangy coriander chutney. Hmm. That sounds really good. This is 14 grams of protein and it's three of your five a day. Again, this has a mild stamp on it. Fat and salt is amber, while saturates and sugar is green. For nutritionals. Again, proud to use wonky veg, vegan approved, the vegetarian society approved. Wow. And again, you get a pound off in there. Uh, I'm gonna open these packagings up and so you can see the inside because I think it looks really interesting. It's really cool. And I want you guys to see it. Now they have said that you can microwave them, you can oven them, and I'm gonna put one in the microwave and one in the oven because I want to test out both methods of cooking. So I think what I am going to do, microwave four and a half minutes. They're saying oven is in 20 minutes and that was for the katsu. For the fire roasted cauliflower, it's saying four and a half minutes in the microwave and then 20 minutes in the oven. So I'm gonna put my katsu curry in the microwave and then I'm gonna put the roasted cauliflower in the oven. Right, let's get to it. sweet potato katsu curry in front of me. Reheats were four and a half minutes for 800 watts in the microwave, which is what I did. Pierced the film. I did notice when I was peeling it after it had been cooked, the film was shredding a little bit, which means it was difficult for me to kind of peel in one. And also I noticed that I think there's a plastic film inside the tray, which is probably stopping from all the sauce seeping through into it. Um, but as I was peeling the film, it was also peeling that film on the tray. So that's another thing that I noticed. So I've got the curry in front of me. Smell, I don't get much typical katsu curry smell. So I'm gonna get some rice. I'm gonna get sweet potato, a bit of the carrot. It's slight, slight spice aroma, but it's not like your typical katsu curry smell. Okay, to me, it doesn't taste like a typical katsu curry. Um, I have wagamamas in my head. Um, that very fragrant, strong spice sauce. I don't get that. It, you do get like a spice note. Uh, it's very fragrant, very aromatic. Mmm. 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 Mmm, oh, that's nice. So I just had a bit of the sweet potato and with the carrot and the texture of the potato was soft and then the carrot was, uh, it still had a bite to it and it was really, really nice textures together. Rice is like sticky rice. It's a nice flavour. Mmm. Mmm. I love pickled veg. I love anything pickled or like anything with lime in it. Oh, that, that vinegar. I love it. I just had some of the pickled veg. It's, it is a nice meal. It's a, quite a big portion. It is serves one. 
yeah, so there's one. Oh, it's a bit of um, heat to it. I can now know why they put mild. A little bit of heat, but it's not overpowering. They're very slight. Okay, so my overall thoughts, right? They're calling it a katsu curry. Uh, in terms of the spice level, you get a bit of heat. You get, um, I think you've got cumin. Tastes like cumin, coriander. Oh, okay, coconut milk, rice, wine, vinegar, onion, powder, coriander, cumin. So you get all the kind of the spice from it. It's very subtle, but it's not your, It's not an overpowering kind of flavour like you would get with a typical katsu curry. They're very subtle flavours. Mmm. I love the textures in there. You get the soft, oh, the soft mushroom, soft sweet potato. Then you've got the crunchy carrot. Crunchy pickle, like what is what is this? What is this? You got your pickled carrots, your veg, and it gives it that crunch, and it needs that because the rice is soft, the sweet potato is soft, then you get that crunch, and it, it it's such a lovely texture. It really brings it together. It's very flavoursome. It is packing um, a lot of flavour in there. But I think if you've come home from work. Um, you know, you're busy, you know, whack it in the oven, whack it in the microwave, and you've got a nice, healthy, fresh, delicious, flavoursome meal. Mmm. 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 You know when you get the sweet potato and the veg mixed together? That combo is so good. I'm loving the textures more than the flavour. It's very light, it's refreshing, it's lovely, beautiful flavours. They're calling it a katsu curry, but in my eyes, honestly, I have wagamamas in my head, I have itsu in my head, I've tried their kind of katsu curry style, and for me, it doesn't taste like that. You have the spices in there, you have the, the flavours in there, they're not as intense or as strong as you would typically get from restaurants or from maybe shop-bought katsu curries, but the flavour in the end is a good flavour and it's nice. I wouldn't buy it again. I think the price point at £4 per meal is quite expensive for one person. Maybe if they're on offer, I would be more inclined to buy them at that time. It just doesn't have me screaming seconds. It doesn't have me screaming for more. It's a good meal and it's nice and it's tasty. Okay, so the second and the last one that I have in this range to review is the Fire Roasted Cauliflower. this in the oven and I put it in there for 20 minutes on a baking tray in the middle of the shelf I've then left it for two minutes uh, it's saying that I now have to drizzle on this chutney tangy coriander chutney please recycle me remove pot before cooking okay I did that Ooh. Mm. I was hoping it'd be more fragrant because coriander is beautiful when you have freshly cooked coriander. Okay, drizzle. What if I don't like it? That's just serving suggestion. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Pop that on. That's a really cute tub. Look how cute that is. Okay, so I'm just going to get stuck in. It does say uh, turmeric infused rice, creamy coconut, dal, green beans, sweet pickled onions. Woo! Gonna go for the pickled onions first. Where are you? Um, tangy coriander chutney. Okay. 
we've got a bit of rice, a um, bit of the chickpeas, the beans. Where is my onion? I literally can't see any onion. Sweet pickled onion. Ah, there you are. <laughs> okay, I want some of the onion. Just one thing before I eat this. When I opened up the packaging to take out the tub, uh, I had a really like pongy smell like rotten egg smell and I know why that is it's because of the kale kale doesn't give off the best smell and it just is what it is I've had it in my products that I've developed so again it's just a little bit off-putting but I'm used to it so I was like I knew that was gonna go anyway this just smells nice it smells like full of spices anyway I just wanted to let you know that that's what happened when I was getting ready to reheat it oh I can smell the uh Oh, no, I can't. I thought I could smell coriander, but it's just a green bean. <laughs> okay. Mmm. I love pickled things. <sighs> that pickled onion is so good. I'm just going to have some of this rice. Mmm. Yeah, that, that tangy... Coriander chutney is right up my street. I love tangy things. That is really, really nice. Cauliflower has a nice bite to it. So I'm getting a lot of spices coming through. Uh, cumin, coriander, onion. Uh, the rice is beautifully cooked. I love the flavour of the pickled onions and the tangy coriander chutney. I think it works really, really well. Cauliflower has a slight bite to it and it's slightly spiced. It's a nice meal. It's not bad. Mm. I bet you guys can tell every time I have the onion. It just tastes so good. Mmm. I think if it didn't have that tangy chutney, it wouldn't have that punch of flavour. It really brings it all together. I like how it's got lentils, chickpeas in, cauliflower. It's, it's a mixture of different veg. It does have a nice flavour. It's a lot of spice going through there. A little bit of heat. Yeah, it, it's mild. A little bit of heat, but it's not It's not major. It's nice. Kale's got good texture to it. <sighs> what do I think? I think it's a good plate of earthy, wholeful flavours. Uh, for someone who is vegan or vegetarian, it's filling. There's a lot going on. It's a lot of flavour. It's really, really nice. Would I buy it again? I don't think I would. And... I think that is because of the price. Four pounds for a meal like that is a bit expensive. I I think if they retailed about three pounds, it wouldn't be too bad, but four pounds for one meal for one person. So you're talking premium kind of level. So if they were to come on offer, I would buy them. I mean, it's it's not bad. It, it looks very colorful. Yeah, it's... um. Mm. Ah, uh, that's another thing. Stalk from the kale can be a bit hard, but I mean, this is actually not that bad, but I did get one that was quite stringy. Yeah, it's fine. It's cooked all the way through, so it's okay. The flavours are not bad. You know, it's, it's a light, refreshing dish. It's not heavy. You get spice going through there. You get a bit of heat. I love the tang and the zestiness that just lifts it up and bring, it makes it so fresh. That's my favourite part of the dish is the sauce and the onions. So overall, I really enjoyed both of the products. I thought they were great in flavour, they were fresh tasting, they're healthy. I personally would rank the two meals, katsu curry first and then the fire roasted cauliflower second. And that's purely because I think the textures work really well in the katsu curry and Personally, I love katsu curry flavour. The flavours weren't as strong, but I did feel that they were there. And it does have that typical katsu flavour, just not as strong as what you'd get in a restaurant or 
uh, if you made like a katsu curry at home. The fire rose cauliflower was nice, I just don't think it had a real punch like the katsu curry did. I did really enjoy the tanginess of the onion and the chutney, I think that was great. And I'm glad that they had a chutney in there because it worked so well. I also love the fact that the packaging is 95% plastic free and you're able to cook them in the microwave and cook them in the oven. But overall, they are nice, nutritious, healthy meals and I did really enjoy them. I did actually finish off the potato katsu curry off camera and I loved it. I was just sitting there eating it and I just thought this is actually really, really nice. If you have tried some of Bowl's products or if you would like me to review um, some more products in their range, let me know in the comments section below. I wanna know what you guys think and that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to me if you're not already. You know the drill. <laughs> and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye. If you're interested in that, then please, 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 please. Oh, it's good on my nose. <laughs>